Ladies and gentlemen, the marathon is about to begin. Competitors will be released in pairs, and the person to complete the race in the shortest time will be the winner. <laughs> That'll be me then. Why are you so sure? I'm on a winning streak, buddy. You're not going to do it with no clothes on. Not that kind of streak. Competitors 20 and 72 to the start line, please. Now remember, when I've won this, you've got to greet me every morning with a slice of toast and a cup of tea. I might win. <laughs> if you win this, I'll eat my sweat van. Wow! Competitors 6 and 115 to the start line, please. That's us. <laughs> remember, three sugars in my tea. for breakfast. Oh, mind your first three seemed okay. You okay, Paul? Fine, stop fussing. Okay. Oh, oh. Are you sure you're okay? Well, if you must know, I'm <laughs> happy, oh. hairy, having a lovely day, <laughs> having trouble breathing. Oh, dear, why don't you tell me? Here's me, fit as a fiddle, and you wheezing like a, wheezing like a weasel. Well, it's all right, buddy. You don't have to give me a head start just because <laughs> you feel sorry for me. I'll tell you what, Paul. I'll give you a head start. You don't have to. OK. Well, if you insist. OK, I insist. <laughs> tell you what, you set off and I'll count to ten. Make it a hundred. That's even better. Off you go. One, two, three, four. Thirty-five, um, thirty-six. Look at that. So professional. <laughs> I can hardly believe it's me. Thirty-seven, thirty-eight. Then again, nobody's got this physique. Thirty-nine, a hundred. It's not your colour, Paul. Hey, that was a quick 100. You having trouble counting? What do you mean? Hmm. Perhaps you've had a bump on the head. How many fingers am I holding up? I can't see any fingers. Oh, this is worse than I thought. I'll have to give you an examination. Oh, no, not maths. You know I'm no good with numbers. <laughs> say ah. Ah. Not ah. Ah. Ah! Oh, I wish you wouldn't have onions for breakfast. Now, bend over and touch your toes. What is it? I think you've got what is known in the medical profession as ragdoll torso. Oh, dear, what's that? Well, it means that you've got no upper body strength and soon your skinny little legs will not be able to carry your body. What am I going to do? There's only one thing you can do. I've got the very thing. Here, this'll do. Catch. Now lift that bin and pump those arms like there's no tomorrow. Yeah! Oh. Paul. Oh, it's you, Paul. Well done, buddy. Managed to get in front of me for a minute there. Not for long, though. Quick as lightning, me. Blink and you'll miss me. Still there, Paul. Look at that banana skin. Put it in the bin, will you? No idea. Never seen her before. I think she's trying to cross the road. Oh, she just stopped to help her then. Don't be ridiculous. I've got a marathon to run. I've got no time for that. You mean you just left her? Yes. Somebody will help her cross the road. Eventually. We hope somebody helps her soon. She can't see very well. 
Who knows where she might end up? Ooh. Mind you, if she does go wandering off on her own, she might never, ever be found. Yes, I've still got that old magic. Here I come. Champion of men, at the peak of physical fitness, moving with the grace of a Greek god. What a lovely day. Birds tweeting in the sky, the sound of the river running by, just me and the road. There's only one thing missing. What could it be? Paul, it's odd without him. We're very close. We share everything. One for you, one for me. Two for you, one, two for me. Three for you, one, two, three for me. Don't worry, Paul. I'm coming. I'm right behind you. <laughs> Beware of the cat. <laughs> I've had cats for breakfast, me. <laughs> like a rose needs a smell, like a budgie needs a bell, like a monkey needs a tree, my brother needs me. You should be hopelessly lost. Oh, ah. oh, oh, oh. Oh, ah. Oh, ah. Oh, ah. When a great man is faced with a great big challenge, he, he thinks a bit. Oh, how would you like to take another route? Does this other route make it a lot easier than going over that great big hill? Oh, yes. And does it mean that I'll beat Brother Barry? Well, I think so. Then I think I like it very much indeed. Hang on. It's not cheating, is it? <laughs> Cheating's a nasty word. Let's call it ingenuity. Ah, ingenuity. I like the sound of that. Wonder what it means. Oh. 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 When a small man faces a great big challenge, he... he straightens his feet and gets stuck in. I can't go on. I can't go on. Oh, maybe I can. 
Excuse me, madam. There's an awful lot of shopping you up there. What you need is a free home delivery service. I'll take it right to your door for you. It's your lucky day. <laughs> well, at least Barry will when I finish the race. It's about time they invented a trolley you could steer. Useless. Oh! That, on the other hand, is not. Lovely view. I wonder how far I've come. And the wizard on wheels! Victory will be mine! <laughs> oh no! I think what you've got known in about the car the car. Yes. <laughs> Who's the old lady? No idea. Never. Bless, Bless you. Salman. <laughs> you went. <laughs> Salman. <laughs> <laughs> 